Hello dear internet friend, today we are going to talk about programming the thermostat XHW3002. This thermostat contains three buttons which are as follows. Button 1 displays the P0 menu and validates the entry in a menu. Button 2 increases a value. Button 3 allows you to decrease the value. You must know, if you push button 1 once time, it will display the menu P0. It should also be noted that when you press button 1 for the first time, we see that menu P0 is displayed on our screen. When you press button 2 for the first time, we see that menu P0 displays the value recorded by the variable for starting the thermostat output. This variable can be modified in the ascending or descending. When you first press button 3, it will also display the stored value for shutting off the thermostat output. I bring you this information so that you can master it without any difficulty. We also have several menus that appear on the thermostat screen. These menus are menu P0 or start value of the thermostat output. It allows the thermostat to start after it has stopped at this program value. The menu P1 or stop value of the thermostat output. It stops the thermostat at this value assigned the to P1. Menu or adjustment value allow you to adjust the temperature error displayed on the thermostat screen. For example, you have a mercury thermometer that you use regularly and work fine. Now, by putting it in your incubator, you will notice a temperature difference of 2 degrees between the value displayed by the thermostat and your mercury thermometer. Then, you can use this option to reprogram your thermostat by increasing or decreasing the value displayed by the thermostat. Menu P3 or waiting time allows you to program the length of time your thermostat must take before performing a programmed action. This value can be between 0 and 10 minutes. The thermostat navigation and programming buttons, the XHW3002 thermostat has three buttons. Button 1, button 2 and button 3. Button 1 called the set button is used to validate. It gives the authorization to enter menu P0, menu P1, menu P2 and menu P3. So we have four menus in total which we can enter and program the thermostat XHW3002. You click on button 1, the thermostat screen displays menu P0. Quickly click on button 1 which is the button that validates the entry in the menu. Then we see the value assigned to P0 which starts flashing. Quickly you can use button 2 to increase the displayed value or button 3 to increase the value. Remember that button 2 and button 3 allow you to increase or decrease a value, provided that you are entirely in the menu.
Also, let's not forget that button 1 is used to validate the entry into a menu because you can display a menu without being in the menu. It is by clicking on the validation button or button 1 that the menu value can be seen flashing on the screen. Let us also remember that button 1 or validation button not only validates entry into all menus P0, P1, P2 and P3, but also allows the menu P0 to be displayed. The menu P0 cannot therefore be displayed by pressing button 2 or button 3. Therefore, only pressing button 1 displays the menu P0. When menu P0 is displayed, you can now use button 2 and button 3 to display menus P1, P2 and P3. Programming the thermostat for the needs of egg incubation. Here is a table which gives us a summary of the temperature values to consider when incubating the eggs of the different categories of birds. The usefulness of this table is to inform us about the different temperature values to consider at the time of incubation depending on the type of bird. We also note that these are fixed temperature values that must be taken into consideration when programming our thermostat. To demonstrate how to program this thermostat for the specific need of incubating eggs, we will take a practical example. For example, we want to incubate eggs with a required incubation temperature of 37 degrees. For example, we can program menu P0 or start temperature at 36.7 degrees and program menu P1 or stop temperature at 37 degrees. This means that when the temperature reaches 37 degrees the thermostat output must be turned off. But when the temperature drops and when it reaches the level of 36.7, the incubator must turn on its output, in other words turn on the heater and the fan. Let's bring the probe close to the heat bulb to speed up the demonstration process.
the heating bulb is off, now the start will be at point 36.7 as programmed in advance. Thank you dear internet friend, we are at the end of this video, I ask you to subscribe to my channel to encourage us to make a lot of video. You can also share or like the video. If you have questions, suggestions for my videos, you can post them in the comment section. Thank you, have a nice day.